Welcome back. This afternoon, you're listening to the Todd Laborowicz Show, Real Estate Radio on Salem Broadcast Network, WRC, 1260 AM. I'm your host, Todd Laborowicz, and we're speaking with Mike and Sabrina David. They are the owners of Mike's Locksmith. Uh, they all basically specialize in commercial locksmith services, access control systems, residential locksmith service, school and campus security solutions, and 24-hour emergency lockout. So, Sabrina, tell me a little bit about these lockouts. Is it something you have to have a phone in your hand all the time? Yes, we um, we're on call when that when anyone needs us. But what type of lockouts do you get? I mean, some of them are challenging. Some because um, they're university kids who drink and then they lock themselves out of their houses and we're running to College Park. Sometimes it's because um, someone had their car stolen and they have their items. And keys stolen, and we have to go and fix that in the middle of the night. Wait, so someone has their stuff in their car, their keys, and I guess their address is in there, their registration, and they could actually go to that house at any time and break in. Pretty exactly. Much. Wow. So uh, that's pretty interesting. But uh, as far as like, let's get into like the locks. We it you cover a whole bunch of services. We do. What's the majority of your business? Right now, the majority of the business is the residential. Okay, so we're dealing with residential homes. When people buy a house, you go to settlement, they hand over the key. And I wonder how many people actually change the locks, or is the real estate agents changing the locks, or is that when they call you? They, they call me before. Some of them call me before the closing on the house. They come with a bunch of keys, like 10 keys. That's all the keys to my house. Then I told, asked him, do you want to stay with that amount of keys or you want to change it to one key? Wow, so you can go from like 10 keys and match them all. Match to... them all to, we can put all your locks on one key. Okay. Because I noticed with, uh, uh, I know somebody that had like a lot of caretakers and I guess the caretakers, everyone had a key and you don't know what happens. And then when you stop using these caretakers for any reason, it's like you don't know how many people have your key out there. Exactly. So you need to either take off your locks and go get a new one or have a locksmith come out and reevaluate the whole entire system because you got sliding glass doors. I'm sure you got locks on the windows. So when you have a lot of people who's coming to your house, what is I recommend to do is to do all the doors on one key except one lock. Put on different key. Then give to the... A cleaning woman, one key. Give to the dog worker the same key to the same lock. When they, you know they need to come, just leave your dead ball open. They come from the doorknob. In the day they don't need to come. The dead ball is locked. They cannot get to the dead ball because the key is different. Okay, so you're only giving access through one, one lock, lock, and then you have a dead ball that you control that they don't have a key to that can, is set with the rest of the keys in yes, the house. Yes, if you have a lot of people who's coming in your house... Do that. That's the best. All right. But that's the best for the last couple of decades. With all the new technology that's out there, you guys have some really cool stuff. We have the Reliving, yeah, reliving which is a touch screen uh, lock. Which kill you a can Kill a sentry. You can program anyone anytime. You can delete anyone anytime. You can suspend all the code. When you leave through the weekend, so... Can you yeah. get a text of when that person comes in? Uh, you can do it with the Z-Way. Okay, this depends it's on... Z-Wave. Z-Wave. Z-Wave is integrated and can be integrated And it depends home. on the, the system you have in your home of the internet and that, so... Okay, now is this all stuff that's affordable or is this something you got to get a loan for? No, it's. I think it's affordable. It's You need to remember you put locks in your house. Uh, it's... Around look like this is around four hundred dollar. Okay. Now is that with installation? No, installation is separate but Okay. But you can work out an estimate. We can for work that. out an esti- estimate is always before installation. And how does someone that's interested in this lock do they go to your website, check it out, and then you come out and it's a done deal, or do you go out, give an estimate if they like it, they put it on a credit card and, and you install uh, it right then and there? If somebody call me for, say, I want to change a log, the first thing I'm going to tell him is let's do a free estimate. Let me get to your place, see what you need, see what is your need, and we do free estimate there. 
And then, if it's done deal, it's done deal. If not, he can call me later. And okay. But after you do the estimate, you, do, you can do credit cards and... Credit card, check, and cash. Okay, but you don't have to do financing or anything. No, it's not that to... big of a job. No. Okay, got it. So, um, moving on. So, as far as the locks, what happens if the electricity goes out? Are they battery backup, or you have to double-check that, or... It's, it's battery beta, backup, and it's going to let you know when the battery is low. Like, 200 cycles before that, the battery is done. This is going to let you know. Well, how much lead time does it give you? Because, like, let's say you have two houses, and you want to program who can come in, who can, and... That you can see on the on the app. You can see the battery low. Okay. Okay. But let's say you you don't have Z way. Just kill a sentry. The light of the battery going to come on two hundred cycles before, so you have enough time to change your batteries. Okay. Okay. Now those rocks operate on typical AA batteries. There are four AA batteries. The typical lock has about a two year life cycle before you need to replace them. And it's replacing them is very simple. Okay. So what's nice is that because it's not on electricity, you can't lock yourself out in the storm. Or okay, so weather. there's no, it's, you're completely protected. And uh, now let's say, is, it, is, is any of these locks tie into your Wi-Fi to send a signal? Uh, you can tie them to the alarm system. You can tie them to a Wi-Fi. I personally don't like to do it. Oh, why is that? Because if somebody stole your phone, it can open your home. Oh, that's very dangerous. What type of lock do you have on your house? We have the same, the EL Reliving, uh, with no Z-Way. We have a high-security Deadbolt multi-lock. And, yeah. Okay. Well, you seem very protected. I sure hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and how did you guys get into this? Oh, I I fell into it. How you fell into it? How did that come about? By associating with this one. <laughs> <laughs> so what came first, the marriage or the the locksmith business? The locksmith business. Okay, and then got married and okay, so you do all the technical work. Yes, and you do all the day to day. Everything else. Everything else. All the paperwork and the, the appointments and everything. Appointments, social media, website. Oh, let's talk about social media because it's a whole new world today because uh, social media is where the small business owners actually get to shine. Uh, we were talking about the Yelp. We were talking about Angie's List, all the other stuff. But before we get into that, by the way, if you're just tuning in, I have with me Mike and Sabrina from Mike's Locksmith. I'm your host, Todd LeBorowit, and you're listening to Salem Broadcast Network, WRC 1260 AM. So you guys are on Angie's List and Yelp. We are. Yeah, we are. And has that changed your business? It's improved our business. Customers uh, call us from there. Customers see us there. Customers read, our, read what other customers write about us. Uh, I have in a, we have in the NGC like 68 reviews. Oh, wow. 67 of them, it's A+. Plus. One of them, it's B. A B. One B. <laughs> I cannot make hap- everybody happy all the time. But that's a good rating. Yeah. In a, on Yelp, we have like 50 reviews. 25 of them, you can see. 25 of them under filter. One of them, it's four star. All the rest is five stars. Mm. I get to the business because the I like to work with my hands. I like to take stuff apart and put it together from from the time I remember myself. And I just wake up one morning and I say, what I like to do? <laughs> what is job going to make me happy? Perfect. Well, let me ask you a question. You have an accent. Where are you from? Israel. Perfect. And uh, did you guys meet in Israel or? No. Okay. Where'd you guys meet? Uh, here, in Rockville. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. You're just hiding the story. The story? No, no story. Just... I won't get it out of you. I'm just... So, moving on. So, let me ask you a question. You got all these locks out there. You got Home Depot. Uh, you got your locks. What's the difference between going into Home Depot? Because a lock is a lock. You go in. 
you can kick the door in and it just breaks the wood. I mean, you can have the strongest lock in the world and break the door in. A lock is not a lock. The lock is not a lock. You know, yes, I can get to a lock of a Home Depot in three minutes. And if I can take high security multi-lock, from my experience, the only time I didn't force myself on that, look like that, it's take me three hours and the police come twice. Because I was so noisy. <laughs> so, yeah. With the Home Depot locks, I get to them in three minutes. So what's more important, a lock in your house or an alarm system? Both. 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 I, I would say that a lock is more important. Why would you say that? Because you're in the business? No, I say that because um, if someone were to break into your house, the alarm goes off, there's some time before the police can even come. And someone who's a seasoned thief or burglar knows how to get in, knows what to take, and knows how to get out quickly. If you have a good lock on your door, that guy's not even going to come near your house. He's going to seize the high security. He's going to move on to the next guy. So you know, the way people break today to your house, they are knocking on your front door and going to the back door. <laughs> Amazing. Well, thanks for sharing all your stories. We have Mike and Sabrina from Mike's Locksmith. And coming up next, we got Jim Musgrave from Research Financial Strategies, always giving us good information. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. 